Hi friends, how are ya? Welcome back to my channel for this week's vlog. It is a very exciting day. I personally have meetings like all day. I just got off an hour long meeting and I have 20 minutes till the next one. Then I have one this afternoon with my accountant. It's a busy day for me, but I'm excited to take y'all along with me. I have some fun things planned. I have the footage of me receiving my play button in the mail and I'm an absolute mess and I ball and so I'll be sharing that with you. I have a olive tree that will be delivered and I wanna to go to a nursery with y'all. I, I just have so many fun things planned. I made a coffee ready for my next meeting in two minutes, but I found my dream house. My dream house, it's not technically in Pasadena, it's not far from Pasadena and it's not available till February and I called the realtor yesterday and he's gonna let us tour it in February when the current tenants move out. But I emailed him again today because I saw he got so many contacts about the house and I was like, I'd love to submit an application now in case we like it in February, that way we can move forward because I know you're getting a lot of contacts. And then he was like, I'm actually showing a unit near the house tomorrow. So if you wanna come by and see the property and meet me and such tomorrow at 11 30 you can and i'm like Whew. it's almost perfect it's in our budget it is the most gorgeous house it's two bedrooms plus an office it has its own backyard but the only downside is it's not in pasadena proper it's at the very top of our budget it's 3500 and it has a wood chip backyard instead of a grass backyard which might be annoying with max and there's no garage but if there's parking, I'm okay with that. It has a shared driveway because there's actually apartments behind it and the apartments use the driveway. But if there's like a parking spaces in the back for it, then I'm okay with that. But otherwise it is the most stunning house and it has so many windows and it is so pretty and I'm just praying. I'm leaving it up to God, but I am praying that if it was meant to be, that it works out. We'll see. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Uh -oh. I don't want to like a house that much because if it doesn't work out, I'll be so heartbroken. It's like having a crush on someone and you're like, I don't know if they're going to like me back. <sighs> okay, uh, it's time for my meeting. <laughs> oh my gosh, guys, I submitted my rental application even though we haven't seen it. And it is so hard to prove income when you're self-employed. I'm like, I promise this is how much I make. It does fluctuate. This is how much I made in 2020. Here's like my bank statements. Here's my PayPal statements. Hopefully you believe me. Here's my savings. I have a good emergency fund. So even if I don't make money, I'll still pay rent. <laughs> Let it max out. But I'm so excited to see the property tomorrow and the area. Obviously, I would want to vlog it, but we're not seeing the inside and the outside is the only part I probably shouldn't put on the internet because then creepy people can probably track down where it is. I finished all of my meetings until four o'clock and it's noon. So I have a break, which I'm excited for. And it is time for me to take my fiber. I have gotten so many DMs lately, like literally probably between DMs, comments, emails, messages, whatever, 10 a week, asking me to please tell you what my favorite fiber is again. And you're in luck because they are sponsoring today's vlog. Bellway, oh my gosh, I love them so much. If you've watched any of my videos before in the past, you probably know how much I value fiber <laughs> and how important I think it is to your diet and to overall wellness. And I've tried a lot of different fibers and this is by far my favorite company. And Brooke and I have actually been eating really healthy for the start of the new year, which I've been proud of us and I wanna keep it up. And fiber is really good for helping you eat healthy. It keeps you feeling fuller longer and it helps me not just like mindlessly snack on unhealthy the unnecessary empty calories and instead focus on eating nutritious dense calories and so I've loved that it's great especially New Year's I know we're all trying to kind of like reset our habits and reset our intentions with healthy eating and I think it's a great way to help do that I love a lot of their flavors but this one is my favorite it's the raspberry lemon it's a little bit tart which I love and I have a code below for 25% off which is so good love when discounts are generous like that. I feel like 25% off is a really generous discount from Bellway. So that comes in tubs or sticks. These tubs are $19.99. It lasts you a long time, but you can do it one to three times a day. It is organic, vegan, gluten-free, all natural, and it's made out of psyllium husk, which makes me feel less bloated than other types of fiber. I'm gonna drink this real quick. 
Cheers. I've had my fiber for the day. Thank you to Belloway for sponsoring this vlog. They're also doing a challenge right now. Let me pull up the details. They're calling it the restart challenge for the new year. And if you drink fiber every single day for 14 days, you can then enter to win the grand prize, which is free one year supply of Belloway and expert wellness coaching, which is so cool. So that's a fun little thing. I will have this link down below along with my code for 25% off. If there's a time to try it it's now <laughs> i love you bellway always i love fiber always uh this is fun we have some time obviously before my meeting and i just got some new spring clothes in the mail i just did a closet clean out and i realized i almost only have winter clothes so i got some spring clothes and i haven't tried them on yet you want to try them on together is that fun should we do it let's do it okay wait but first something just got here that has to do with my YouTube plaque. So I'm gonna open this and then maybe roll that footage. Yeah, wow. Oh, I didn't know it came with three, four. Oh my gosh. I got a little thing so I could put it on our bookshelf. Also, one other fun thing just came in the mail. So I'll open this with you too. This is some Nespresso pots. I got, I wanted a double shot espresso because the single shots are so small. So I got a couple of these double shot Cairo, C-H-I-R-O. And then I wanted to try an Alto, which is like a uh, larger than a coffee. And so I got an Alto Dulce and I don't remember why I got this. Oh, is this another espresso? Yeah, I think that this is another double sh no, yeah. 80 milliliters. Yes, this is another double shot espresso. Bianco Leggero. So we'll see if those are good or not. But I want to put up my plaque and I guess before I do that, I should roll the footage of me getting it. Just want to warn you, I was very emotional. For some reason, it hit me way more than it did on <laughs> December 30th when I actually hit 100,000. I don't know why, like having something concrete in my hand made it so much more real than seeing a number on a screen because like I could actually wrap my brain around what was happening. And <laughs> And so this is a much bigger reaction than when I actually hit it. <laughs> oh, please enjoy and sorry in advance for all the tears. <laughs> Roll the footage. Okay, it is January 13th, 10.09 in the morning. I was taking Max out to go potty and I saw a UPS guy leaving the building and I was like, oh my gosh, I bet he was here delivering this. <laughs> And my first plan was I was gonna wait until Friday because I got an email saying it'd come today. It's gonna wait until Friday to open it on the vlog, but Brooke was like, you can't wait with that thing just staring at you. And I was like, you're right, I can't. And I couldn't even wait to put on makeup. Brooke was like, no, you just gotta do it now. So we're gonna open it. I don't want to, I'm scared. So you're talking to them? No. <laughs> oh, open it. <laughs> okay, watch they spell my name wrong. Like Michelle, Michelle Jane. <laughs> Isn't that uh, Superman's lover? That's Lois Lane. Oh, who's the Jane? <laughs> Michelle Jane. <laughs> who's the Jane? Mary, no, that's weird. Mary Jane. <laughs> yeah, Mary Jane Spider-Man. Spider-Man, I was close. That, not really. <laughs> okay, is it in frame? It's in frame. If the, if the camera's wrong, I, I blame my, my cameraman. Ready? I'm not even gonna look. Still have to take the thing off of it. Oh, there's a note? Wait, before I look at it, I'm gonna read the note. It says, do you remember your first subscriber, your hundredth or your thousandth? I do remember my thousandth. We were out at Chipotle. Um, <laughs> chances are you do. We definitely know you'll remember your hundred thousand subscriber. Your fans may have found you while searching YouTube, learned about you through a friend, or maybe showed up as a recommended video. No matter how they came to your channel, fans stayed and their numbers increased because of your unique voice and excitement for being part of the growing community you established. That's really sweet. We are thrilled to see the development of your community and proud to honor you with this impressive milestone, reaching a hundred thousand subscribers with the Silver Creator Award. Congratulations. We know that you have many stories to share with your community, and we know that your fans can't wait for you to engage and amaze them even more with your commitment and creativity. So keep creating, keep building. We can't wait to see what you'll do next. We're here to support you along the way, and who knows, when you reach your millionth subscriber, we may write you to ask, do you remember your 100,000th subscriber? <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I'm not crying. I'm not gonna cry. Oh. <laughs> I don't know 
why that makes me gonna cry. <laughs> I'm happy, I promise. This is really good footage. <laughs> this is gonna be very bad footage. I'm just gonna edit all this out. <laughs> Where are we gonna put it? <laughs> <laughs> My ears popped. <laughs> oh, it's so pretty. It's a big shine off, but you can't really see it. <laughs> That's cool. I didn't know the, the middle was like reflective. Yeah, it's like a see? mirror. It's so pretty. It's really cool. Can you take a picture too? I. I just told Brooke, I was like, wait, I feel like I should say something to them, but now I don't even know what to say. I've already said a lot, I guess, when I actually hit it, but for some reason, like, a number on a screen isn't real. <laughs> I actually Googled, <laughs> this is stupid, I Googled what 100,000 people look like, and it pulled up some college football team stadium full of people, and, like, my brain still couldn't wrap around that, but for some reason, my brain can wrap around this, and I don't know why. <laughs> it's, like, more concrete, I think, and I'm really, really honored and excited and um i don't know maybe in a few years we'll get the gold one <laughs> wouldn't that be crazy i don't think i'll ever get to the diamond one let's just be honest i think that's 10 million but maybe one day <laughs> i love y'all um sorry for this being so random sorry for me having a pimple patch on my face and still being in pajamas and haven't washed my hair in five days but this is real life and i couldn't wait and i'm gonna pick out a spot for it and i love you so i want to put it where this frame is i think because then I won't have to rearrange anything because it's just replacing a singular frame for a singular frame. Does that make sense? So I'm gonna put it on this here. I don't think it'll be too tall. Let's see, I'll grab it. It's right over here. I've been nervous about just having it sit on the table for a couple days. I'm like, what if someone spills something on it or knocks it off the table and like the mirror part breaks? So, ready? I feel like I'm like cutting the red ribbon to open an event, but like, that significant for me. <laughs> it's so pretty! <laughs> Look at it on the bookshelf! Oh, I'm getting emotional all over again. <sighs> it doesn't help that I'm on my period. I'm gonna blame that for all of this and for my breakout that's been here for a while. But wow, it's so pretty. Oh my gosh! I'm so happy. Okay, I'm gonna clean up, put this stuff away that I just unboxed, and then then let's go try on the clothes I got. My heart, my heart. Okay, we're gonna do this in the mirror and in leggings. <laughs> but the first thing I was actually, I already put on to have a couple meetings this morning. This is like a silky shirt, and I have the exact same one in blue from last year, and I love it, so I got it in black. And so I obviously already know how this one fits, but I'm excited to try on the rest. And I'll link all these down below for you. I love this one. It's very simple and chic and timeless and easy to throw on and it feels like pajamas. So this one's a keep. Oh, I love this one. I really like colored shirts. Can you tell? I feel like they're very like timeless. They have the perfect amount of structure and femininity to where it's, it's like elevated basic, which is kind of what I strive to be. And I love this color. Anything in this kind of like rusty brown is, in my opinion, very Nancy Drew. This one's more long line than the other one. So this one would be really cute with skinny jeans or French tucked. Ooh, that'll be so cute, French tucked. I love this one too. This one's a keep. The third shirt that I got is a little bit more of a wild card because I don't really have anything like it, but let's see. Okay, wait a minute. I love it. Not with these, not with this color of leggings, so ignore that, but I love mock necks with short hair. I think it just looks so chic. I'm gonna say that about all these things. I did say that about all these things. I think it's fun to do something with a fun neckline when you can actually see it with short hair. I don't normally have anything in this color, but I think it would be fun to mix it up. And this color is very like fresh and springy. And I love that this could be tucked into some like fun wide-legged pants since this is a little bit more fitted on the top and it would be balanced that way. Oh yeah. It's really comfy too. This one was the cheapest. I think this is 35 or 38 dollars and it's ribbed and it feels very soft and I'm not wearing, I thought it might be sheer. I'm not wearing a tank underneath it and I can't see my bra. So I'm impressed. Obviously it looks terrible with this color of legging. Let's just look at it up this close. Oh, I love it. Okay, they're all keeps. I love them so much. I also got bike shorts. Should I try them on? 
I'll try them on. Okay, I was leaving the tag on to see what I think, but I love these. These are very flattering. I kind of am hesitant about bike shorts. I only own one other pair because sometimes, I don't know, I just don't like like showing my legs. I feel more comfortable in pants. I really need to tan. I'm pale, 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 but these are very like form fitting. Like I feel very held. <laughs> So I feel like they're really, really flattering. Wow, I love these a lot. And these are actually a little bit shorter than my other ones, which I think looks better. And these would be really cute with something like very oversized where just a little bit of it peeks down. And I love how high-waisted they are. Oh yeah, I'm keeping these for sure. Don't you love it when everything you order works out? I feel like it rarely happens if I order a couple things and try them on at home. I feel like in real life, I'm then like, uh, but I love all these things. I'm really excited about them. I will link them all down below for you if you are interested in them for yourself. I need to take Max out on a W-A-L-K here in a minute. Did I have this pinned up earlier? Maybe I didn't. I don't know why. Some days it looks really good pinned and some days it looks really bad pinned. I have a exciting little announcement that I never talk about on here. I feel weird like plugging myself too much. I never talk about our podcast really. I should more because it would probably help me out. But another thing is, I don't know if you guys know, but I have like a website slash blog. It's literally just MikhailJanceySmith.com. And I kind of got like overwhelmed and discouraged with it. And I hadn't posted since October. I think, but my best friend is an incredible mastermind writer, editor, and she is helping me plan out the blog. And together we're working on creating posts together. And without her help, I don't think I'd be able to do it because she's so good at like being like, hey, you talked about this in a video, that would be a great blog post. And I'm like, oh my gosh, it would, thank you. So we are going to be posting two posts a week, maybe even more than that if it goes well, but my goal is to build it up to be monetizable. I had one sponsorship that I'm doing later this year, also asked for a blog post. And I was like, you know what, if I put time into my blogs, I could then like do occasional sponsored posts over there, which would help my business as a whole so much. So that's our goal. And starting, well, by the time you see this, there's already going to be like four or five posts out, which is insane and incredible. So I would love if you wanted to subscribe or just check it out every once in a while. Posts will be going live Tuesdays and Thursdays. My videos are Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday. So literally every day of the week, you'll be getting something, whether it be a video or a blog post and then podcasts go live Tuesday. So Sunday's the only day that it's dark, but eventually we might do a blog post on Sundays as well. So uh, if you like reading blogs, they're all super short, like three to five minute reads and I add pictures and I add links. And I just want it to be like a really fun place for us to kind of share ideas and um, a way too for me to archive things I've talked about. So I have like a favorites page on there. A lot of things that I talk about a lot are linked on that favorites page. So it's like an easy resource to find things I've probably talked about in the past. So I'm hoping it's helpful or fun and I'm hoping it helps to grow my business as well selfishly. And I hope it's just like a win, win, win for everybody involved. And I would love if you wanted to check it out. Link down below as always. I just got a notification that my olive tree was delivered. I don't know if it's delivered at my door or not, but let's go peek. I really hope it is because I don't want to go down to the mail room because I really don't want to lug a big box up to the mail room by myself. This is my song about my olive tree. Nope, it's not there. Dang it. I'll go get it. I'll be right back. Gosh dang. It's nowhere. I even talked to our sweet, like, building housekeeping lady. I don't know her official title, but her name's Myra. She's so sweet. And she's like, I don't see a tree anywhere. And I was like, I know, I feel like it's a big box, so it should be, like, not that hard to find. But hoping it will just show up sometime today. When it does, I'm really excited to put it in our room. I feel like olive trees can be super expensive, fake ones. I'm out of breath from running around the building. <laughs> <laughs> like literally hundreds of dollars and I found this one at World Market for 79 I think which is way cheaper than the other ones But it's also a four feet where most of the other ones were five or six So it's shorter, but I was like if it looks weird I could just put it on a little stool or something to give it a little bit of height And I was gonna take one for the team and see if it looks really fake or believably real or not So we'll see but I'm going to take him out and I will be right back So we have had a sad fatality besides the fact that my mask rubbed off all of my concealer 
<laughs> my rubber tree died. We went on our road trip and we came back and it was looking a little sad. So I kind of freaked out and I watered it a lot. And I think I overwatered it. And then it just, that was the beginning of the end. And we just finally said goodbye to it. And it only had a couple leaves left, which is so sad. I'm really bad at keeping alive rubber trees. Our current apartment gets no light. So no plants are really that happy, which is why I got a fake olive tree. But I was great at keeping plants alive in my last place because I got so much light, but still not rubber trees. So if you have any tips for keeping rubber trees alive, I'd love to hear them. But I just pulled up to a nursery. This is a super cute nursery. It's in Pasadena. It's called Boulevard, but just BLVD. It's adorable. Highly recommend if you live in the area, checking it out. And we're going to go in together and get a rubber tree and try not to get anything else, even though it's going to be hard because I need to wait until we move to buy more plants because it's hard to move plants, you know, but without it, our den looks very sad. So I want to buy this one now. <laughs> Okay, so I ended up getting a ruby rubber tree because the 10 inch ones are $42.99 and then the 12 inch ones, which they had in the color that I liked, are $100. And I was like, I got a 10 inch last time and they almost look the same, the 10 and the 12 as far as size goes. And they were, they were sold out of like the dark green emerald. Is that what they call it? I don't know plants very well. <laughs> so I got the, the ruby and I'm gonna see if I can keep it alive. Let's go take it home and put it in our apartment. Thanks, you guys see the plant I got? Let me start from the top. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> Give me a heart attack. <sighs> what do you think? Excuse me, are you eating the paper? Oh, it's so pretty! What are you doing, bud? Yay! Now let's see how long until it dies in our dark, dark apartment. I've already, I normally try to have just one cup of coffee in the morning. Cup of coffee? Cup of coffee in the morning, and then I switch to matcha. But this Nespresso has really made me drink a lot more coffee and my acid reflux has definitely been mad. But I still want to try the new pod. So I want to try one of these as an oat milk latte and I will give you my thoughts in case you're an espresso connoisseur. In my opinion, the single espressos are way too small. They're like almost nothing and then they get really watered down if you even just do a little bit of foam. So I'm going to try the double espresso charo. And I think it's a bold, but I think it's only like a six or a seven on the darkness scale and I'll try it with oat milk and give you my thoughts taste test style. Here's the amount of espresso it made. It's a pretty good amount. My milk is still frothing. Pro tip as an easy way to get like a dessert latte or like a flavored one. I froth oat milk with a very small splash of a flavored creamer. This is caramel almond creamer and then it's like a caramel latte and it's really good. Okay, here's a taste test. This filled up my mug way more than I was expecting. I guess that extra shot really makes a difference. Little taste. Oh, that's way better than the other one. The other one was like a kind of blonde looking small single shot pot. I don't remember what it was called. This is way better. This is stronger, but not like bitter. Recommend. We have about an hour till our tax meeting and taxes is really hard too because I know what I earned in 2020 but not what I was paid in 2020 because so many things are net 30, net 60, net 90, and even net 145. So it's going to be kind of a guess and I'm really nervous because either what if we didn't set aside enough money and we owe more than we thought or I'm excited because what if we set aside too much money and then we essentially have free money left over <laughs> which would go towards my allergy shots and moving expenses. But it'd be nice to not have to pull that out of any other accounts so I'm praying for for that we pretty aggressively set aside taxes so we will see i will update y'all after that meeting i'm gonna edit until then this lighting is very orange because wait maybe this will make it better is that better or worse maybe better um so we finished our tax meeting and i'm like scrambling trying to figure out <laughs> 
exactly what I made. I know what I, like I said, I know what I earned in 2020, but I don't know what I was paid in 2020. Uh-oh, I might be getting sick. Look at my eyes. My eyes do this when I'm about to get sick. That'd be really bad. So I don't know exactly what we owe. Oh no, my eyes. I don't know exactly what we owe yet until I figure that out. And it's complicated because if you think about it, every single sponsorship I do is a different 1099. So I have like 40 something 1099s that I'm waiting on in the mail, which is crazy. And apparently for 2021, my accountant said I need to become an S Corp, meaning I need to have like payroll for the things that I outsource, which occasionally is a photographer or our podcast editor or things like that. All the little freelance things that surpass over $600 in a year. It's weird to like focus on the business side of things. I pray to Lord I'm not getting sick. I didn't start feeling sick till like maybe an hour ago and it's hitting me hard. Maybe I just need to go to bed. But something exciting is we ordered sugar fish as a little celebration for doing the most dreaded task of the year, taxes. They're not quite done, but you know, they're the majority done. And Sugarfish normally has a two hour wait on weekends. So we ordered it at five o'clock and it is seven o'clock and it is almost here. And I'm so excited because that is the best way to end the vlog. The best way to end the vlog. What's well, here? You wanna do the grand unboxing? <laughs> is it hefty? Is there more than one? There's two boxes. <laughs> Brooke Andrew, I let Brooke order by himself. What did you do? I like sushi. It's not that much, come on. Uh, so. But wait, open the other one. This one will be full. Oh my gosh. Oh hey, you can make me my own box. Toro. Of course it's sushi, you mean salmon? I mean salmon, <laughs> Sushi. 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 I don't know what that one is. <laughs> that looks delicious. Didn't give you the little tin. Oh, that's sad. You have these little, these are kind of big. Oh, the tiny little the ones you made fun of me for. <laughs> Get those. I'm still gonna make fun of you for. Brooke made fun of me because <laughs> I ordered mixing bowls. I ordered mixing bowls on Amazon and like. <laughs> this is them. <laughs> good price. Oh, well, they were for a reason. <laughs> okay, let's end the vlog and enjoy our sushi. What are we gonna watch? Yeah, I don't know. Finding mm -hmm. Nemo or something. You wanna say thank you to Bellway for sponsoring oh. this vlog? Thank you to Bellway. Yeah. Bellway for sponsoring <laughs> the vlog. We love you. We hope you have the best rest of your day and we'll see you in a video very soon. Bye. All that we have